Hey, how's everybody feeling tonight? All right, got another little quick one for you. This time, again, going to look at a different tool in trading view. Today, we are going to look at these Fib circles or Fibonacci circles. Coming over here on your little uh, GANs and Fibs menu. It's a little bit closer to the bottom over here. You're going to see Fib circles. And... If you watched my little trading view drawing tools one, you saw this one pop up for a second. I got one over here already just because I was playing with it. And I'm like, you know, I'm just going to leave it here. And I'll show you right out the gate. And then we'll go back and we'll draw a few. Show you a couple things to look at. But more on top of that is this one. You know, just in the course of playing with this, I noticed that it actually kind of ties into some of the stuff you see in Market Cipher too. And if you look here, so... Basically, with these fib circles, you draw two points. You're going to go, say, from the high to the low of a trend. And it's going to draw your uh, little fancy concentric circles going out there. Now, you can change. You know, you can have your regular 0 to 1 fib levels, your 0 to 100%. For the moment, I got these turned off because we're kind of doing like a longer term thing. I mean, we're on the weekly should probably add that so we got the one and then we got one six eighteen two six eighteen three four five and if you look here obviously this is going back to the previous bull run all-time high but this is interesting what i was seeing over here on market cipher come out here to where the candles cross that fib circle and i'm like man i started seeing it's like Okay, it was hard to tell without the lines, but it seemed like it was kind of lining up a little bit. And sure enough, where this one crosses, we had a peak in the money flow. Came over here where this one crosses. Had a crossover right about there in the money flow. Right where this one crossed. Again, what well, basically, you know, if you're drawing your little curvature here, it was right about the peak of this green uh, little wave in the money flow before of course you know before of course we bounce back off the zero line but came over to the next one hit the low point where you know would have been a crossover had we not you know continued up to the bullish side and again came over here right where this one crosses we got a little peak on the money flow I'm like well that's kind of interesting like how often do you see every damn one actually kind of uh correlating with something particularly with you know market cipher it's one thing to draw like a few different indicators on the screen here and start you know see lines crossing and things like that but you know it was definitely interesting that there was correlation down there so now that i kind of showed you just interesting little tidbit something to take home with you throw it in your little doggy bag I'm gonna show you how to draw it and where you might want to draw it, where you probably should draw it. And if you're feeling frisky, some other shit you could do too. Now, obviously, I may not sound like, uh, you know, your, your typical Klaus Schwab. You know, oh, I was going to start name dropping. You know, I'm not exactly uh, your Goldman Sachs technical analysis training professional master class kind of guy honestly you know what uh, there's plenty of those on youtube if you want to go watch them go watch them honestly i'm just going to keep it real with you guys i'm not trying to sell nothing honestly like i really don't even care beyond me trying to learn this and honestly the fact that it's kind of fun doing these videos so if you don't like it sucks for you i like it it's fun and Hopefully you guys learn a little something too, because I keep I'm trying to go through all this obscure stuff that you normally just don't see in the normal crypto channels unless you're really digging into the TA type uh, videos. But you know, as far as all the popular guys go, I mean, honestly, if you're watching BitBoy, you're probably getting maybe like the big green dot and maybe some money flow, maybe a little momentum waves. Honestly, I haven't watched them too, too much lately, but last time I was watching them, that was, you know, about the extent of it. And then obviously if you're watching, you know, Crypto Face, he's really going to give you, you know, the environment that you're seeing, some of the signs that are coming up right at the moment, maybe tying it back to things that happened in the past. There was another good one out there, Evan Aldo, shout out to Evan. 
you know, started watching him, dude, actually one of the people that kind of motivated me to uh, start this channel. You know, he's got some good Marcus Cypher stuff going, Jason Casper. Honestly, those are probably the only ones that I watch that I know of that do Marcus Cypher, but that I actually, like, respect as, like, good-ass dudes that are out here legit trying to help people. And not only that, I mean, these dudes are professional traders now. You know, they're doing this, yeah, like, for a living, basically, at least as far as I know. And, I mean, you got to have some role models. You got to have some mentors that, you know, some goals you're trying to get to. And uh seems like good enough ones for me. So let's get into it. My bad about the rant. But, uh, you know, you already saw what it was at the beginning. So let's look here. Snapping over to the high. Snapping over to the low. And you can see, you know, we, we got we got a little bit of correlation going on here, you know, with this first 1.6 kind of came in on this reversal right here. A little bit behind on, you know, the dip right there. And aside from, you know, having some closeness, you know, a little reversal right here, doesn't seem terribly accurate, does it? Now, one thing that I did come across from people that they were saying was to use the bodies rather than the wicks. And looking here, looks like, you know, we got reversal, reversal. Yeah, it was a short little pullback, but again, reversal up to a pump. You know, a little bit of, you know, from consolidation to a dip here. Yeah, I guess we could call it that. Reversal here. Again, a little late on the dip right here, but okay. Coming over here right at the beginning of this pump. I mean, this is going on the backside of it even. Uh, kind of blew through, but came back and retested. Similar situation here. Bounced off, came through retested a few times and again we're on the weekly so that was hovering around there for a minute yeah about the beginning of the pump there yeah you can almost call this the reversal i mean really this was the actual pump out of it but we did start coming up right about there before having that quick little pullback but again you know what i kind of found interesting go over here to your vertical line and i'm just drawing one every time it crosses not even looking at the bottom yet obviously in a couple spots you know we had uh, a few points of contact but I'm calling that one the cross right there come down here what do we got pretty close to the uh, the money flow changeover Close to the peak, close to the changeover. You know, what essentially would be the midpoint of this one or the peak. You know, close to that uh, to that zero line bounce. Yeah, this one may be a little bit early on this peak, but... Let me shoot. Yeah, a couple candles away, but still. It's interesting that every time we come to one of these Fibonacci circle lines. Yeah, it's a decent indicator that, you know, there's there's something to watch out for, some event in the price. Now, if you want to take it a little bit further than that even, but before I get to that, so let's say, okay, you did that, you're looking out here. Obviously, we, we went beyond that point so then if you took this yeah let's do what the dude said we'll go to the body here took it to the next one so now we got this trend right here let's see what happened okay man we rode that <laughs> all the way down a little small reverse here but you know, bounced off, came, bounced off again. Gave it one more try and uh, started our little downward trend. Not too, too much here other than, you know, we did have a 
a big candle to the downside. Again, more dump. Consolidation more than a dump here. About the same there. But pretty close to the uh, reversal afterwards. So that one's kind of so-so. But let's see here. Were we really at the top? It's kind of 50-50 whether the top of this body or the top of this body is the top. And obviously if you look here, it's definitely a little better sign of the beginning of that. More at the beginning of that. Not greatest on that. Reversal there. Even come back here and check in. Yep, a little bit of a dump there. A little bit of a reverse there. But again, okay, finish that one. Honestly, I haven't even tried it on a sideways. You know, let's see what happens. I'm going to try this one on the wicks just out of curiosity here. See what kind of results we get. Again, right here at the beginning of this pump. You know, a lot of different ones converging right there. I'll bet you. Matter of fact, takes me into the next thing I was going to talk about was another one. I'm going to keep trying wicks. I'm just going to see what happens. If you were to take that and then come back to that other one that we did here. Now, that's interesting. We definitely have almost three points of convergence right there. Two of them just dead dead nuts intersected right on that candle that's interesting what do we got here man this almost split that one's perfectly right on the uh beginning of the uptrend there we almost caught the entire dump almost just between these two right there again a little overlap right there what do we got yeah. A couple of them kind of get close right there. Eh, not too, too much, but just like everything else, especially with Fibonacci stuff, I mean, you start throwing multiple retracements down and, you know, honestly, let's try that here. Let's go. Let's see what we would be looking like up here. Well, shit, here we are right at one right now. Man, pretty much called right off the uh, the reversal on that first little bear run that we had. Be nice if uh, hopefully we pull off another one here for a little bit. And again, I mean, these are wide numbers. If you want to start throwing in... You know something a little bit closer in between just to kind of show you this especially when you do it for the first time before you actually change anything you'll have these guys on there but again if you're doing a trend i mean there's not that that much that you're probably going to see because you know that it's you know one direction you're not necessarily getting a lot of crazy movement in the trend that you are setting those points on but again, here, I mean, sh look, you know, consolidated a little bit, came up, consolidated, came down, came up, hit off of this uh, inner 236 ring, pretty much just wrapped around it before we came up, started to taper off, and then we're off and uh, heading out of the crop circles over there. But yeah, I mean, that's the fib circles. You know, same as uh, your other stuff. You can throw in the uh, the background colors if you want. Have your chart looking like a nice little target. Print it out. Take it to the range. Yeah, yeah, you know, suggestions. Yeah. Since we're playing around here, let's let's uh let's see what happens here. Let's throw a little fib retracement on here too. Let's see, do we pick the first side? Uh, yeah, let's pick the first side because that's where we took the circles to. What do we got here? What do we got here? Not to, man, right where we're at right now. Between the golden pocket and this little fib circle. 
Other than that, not a heck of a lot. Yeah, a little bit right here. Yeah, basically blew through that. That's not too much. Let's uh let's take this out. Take that out to the the all time high here. Do the same with that. And I just rode the bottom of that line, bounced off of that. Hey, shit, here you go. Came up, bounced off, came up, bounced off. Yeah, skipped the line, came down. Back up into the golden pocket. Although we wouldn't have known that at the time. We'd, this would still be like here if we were looking back there. Again, came up to it. Just rode the bottom of this line before we finally broke out. Came out of that circle, got rejected back to this little golden pocket. Skipped the line, came up, rejected again. And haven't quite hit another circle yet on this one. You know, like everything else, it's another tool for the toolbox. Play around with it, practice. And uh, if it helps, it helps. Bottom line. So, all right, everybody, have a fantastic evening, day, morning, whenever it is, wherever you're at. Talk to you later.